The messes are enigmatic, minuscule, worm-like parasites of marine invertebrates. As of 2012 update, it was still unclear whether they are degenerate platyhelminthus or truly primitive basal metazoans. Generally, these tiny, elusive creatures consist of a somatoderm of ciliated cells surrounding one or more reproductive cells. Decades ago, mesozoa were classified as a phylum. Molecular phylogeny studies, however, have shown that the mysterious mesozoans are polyphyletic. That is, they consist of at least two unrelated groups. As a result of these recent findings in molecular biology, the label mesozoan is now often applied informally, rather than as a formal taxon. Some workers previously classified mesozoa as the sole phylum of the lonely subkingdom Magnotiza. Cavalier Smith argued that at least some of the mesozoans are in fact protistans, not animals. In the 19th century, the mesozoa were a wastebasket taxon for multicellular organisms which lacked the invaginating gastrula which was thought to define the metazoa. Evolution Mesozoa were once thought to be evolutionary intermediate forms between protozoans and metazoans, but now they are thought to be degenerate or simplified metazoa. Their ciliated larvae are similar to the myricidium of trematodes and their internal multiplication is similar to what happens in the sporocysts of trematodes. Mesozoan DNA has a low GC content. This amount is similar to ciliates, but ciliates tend to be binucleate. Others relate mesozoa to a group including annelids, planarians, and nematians. Groupings The two main mesozoan groups are the Dicyamida and the Orthonectida. Other groups sometimes included in the mesozoa are the Plakizoa and the Monoblastozoa. Monoblastozoans consist of a single description written in the 19th century of a species that has not been seen since. As such, many workers doubt that they are a real group. As described, the animal had only a single layer of tissue. Rhombizoan mesozoans Rhombiza, or Dicyemid mesozoans, are found in the nephrid tracts of squid and octopuses. They range from a few millimeters long with 20 to 30 cells that include anterior attachment cells and a long central reproductive cell called an axial cell. This axial cell may develop asexually into vermiform juveniles or it may produce eggs and sperm that self-fertilize to produce a ciliated infusiform. Larva There are three genera, Dicyema, Pseudocyema and Dicyemeni. Orthonectide mesozoans Orthonectide are found in the body spaces of various marine invertebrates including tissue spaces, gonads, genitor respiratory bursa. This pathogen causes host castration of different species. Their actual phylogenetic position is uncertain. Suggestions include a sister group to bilateral animals. As a relative of platyhelminthus and roundworms, as parasitic stetarians and even as member of kingdom Protista, outside the animal kingdom. The best known of Orthonectida is the parasite of brittle stars. The multinucleate synctual stage lives within tissues and spaces of the gonad but can spread into arms. It causes the destruction of starfish ovary and eggs to cause castration. The stages of the plasmodium develop into more plasmodia by simple fragmentation. At some point, they decide to go sexual. The cincture are monoecious, but young cincture are confused to produce both male and female. The males are ciliated and smaller than the females. The females and the males leave the starfish and mate in the sea. Tailed sperm enters the female and fertilizes the numerous oocytes. Each oocyst produces a small ciliated larva which makes its way to another star. 